welcome everyone uh, to our um, workshop today uh, about um, goal setting strategy with Louis Bellido. Um, he is the founder of Meta Comics. Um, he's a business and personal coach. Uh, we also have um, an in depth uh, conversation to, uh, with uh, Louis uh, to share his uh, entrepreneurial journey and what he do uh, on a daily basis uh, on our website. So uh, if you're interested, feel free to check out. And um, Louis, would you like to uh, talk more about yourself uh, from, um, uh, from your slide? Sure. So hello, everyone. Hannah, should I start my presentation already or are you going to continue? Yes, um, maybe I let you share your, your slide, your screen, so it's um, easier. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna share my screen now, and then you will start. So now I can start my whole part, right? Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Second. Loading. Okay. Can everyone see the screen? Yes. Yeah. Can you hear me? All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Luis, as Hannah just mentioned. And today we're gonna to have a workshop which is called Visualize Your Goal Strategy. Um, before that, I would like to quickly introduce myself and a little bit of my story. I am from, from Peru and I used to be an architect. I worked in my profession for roughly 10 years from my 20s to my 30s. And at some point after working in two really nice architecture offices and fulfilling basically all my dreams when I was 20 years old, uh, there was something that I was still missing, like new dreams, and I also faced the limitations of my own career, which was the personal touch, touch, like the one-on-one -on -one, uh, connection with people. And I also wanted to live abroad, and I also wanted to study abroad, and I also wanted to do something more related with drawings and design and art. So that is how I just decided to leave my country and relocate myself to Finland. And long story short, I study a master in art education and Nordic visual studies. And I researched how could comics contribute to society. In the beginning it was for architecture, then it was comics for education. And then in the end, I suggested a methodology about how to use comics for education uh, in the master thesis. And after graduated, I decided to found my own company. Now it's uh, like a solopreneur, but in the future, my vision is to have uh, like a proper uh, uh, LLC uh, company. And now I work with coaching using visual methods R, specifically drawing simple comics. And the company is called Meta Comics. And the reason why I chose this, this term is because the meaning of a Meta Comic it's a comic where, where the character is aware of its own story and it takes control of its own story. So I am a believer that in real life, we can become aware of our life and take control or leadership of our own life. And the way I do this is via coaching and vision tools. I also would like to share with you one of my biggest inspiration, which is uh, sharing the architecture mindset. Okay, which in simple is how to turn a drawing into reality, how to turn fiction into fact. And I would like to share with you uh, a video of my favorite architects. This is the best way that I found to explain this. It lasts roughly uh, five minutes. And after that, I'm gonna continue my presentation, okay? If documentary is to document our world as it already is, fiction is to fantasize about how it could be. In that sense, architecture is the fiction of the real world. So turning dreams into concrete reality with bricks and mortar. Architecture is the canvas for the stories of our lives. The city is never complete. It has a beginning, but it has no end. 
It's a work in progress, always waiting for new scenes to be added, new characters to move in. When I started studying architecture and told people what I did, the most frequently asked question was always, can you tell me why all new buildings are so boring? People had the idea that in the past buildings came with ornaments and decoration, moats, drawbridges, spires and gargoyles. Today they had been reduced to containers of space, boring and boxy. Somehow so many of our choices today tend to settle with reaffirming the status quo by replicating what's already there rather than inventing what could happen next. I decided I wanted to change that. In the movie Inception, the architects find that they can finally realize their wildest dreams because they're in fact designing inside a dream. The architect hero Cobb explains how he and his wife wanted to live in a house with a garden but preferred to live in a high rise. In real life, we would have to choose, he says, but in a dream, we could get it as we wanted it. We've made a building in Copenhagen called The Mountain, combining a parking structure and an apartment building. By turning the parking into a man-made mountain of cars, we can turn the stack of homes into a cascade of houses with gardens, penthouse views and big lawns, Cobb's dream home made in real life. We call this idea bigamy, that you can take multiple desirable elements that might not fit together or even seem mutually exclusive like the garden home in the high-rise, and merge them together into a new genre. You don't have to remain faithful to a single idea. You can literally marry multiple ideas into promiscuous hybrids. The beauty is that architecture not only allows you to dream stuff up, it also allows you to alter the facts. You can turn pure fiction into hard fact. We went on to imagine little tweaks of the status quo that now form everyday reality in Copenhagen and beyond. The eight house is a neighborhood of townhouses where you can walk and bicycle from the street to the penthouse, turning a city block into a Mediterranean mountain town of paths and squares. The harbor bath brings the beach into the heart of the city, realizing the Parisian slogan of May 68, sous le pavé la plage. The court scraper combines the urban oasis of the courtyard with the extreme density of a skyscraper into a new warped hybrid of the two. Copen Hill is a power plant that turns waste into electricity and that is so huge that it's going to be the biggest and tallest structure in all of Copenhagen. How could we transform the stereotype of the power plant into a public amenity? We thought, Denmark is cold, we have snow, but no mountains. But we do have mountains of trash. So we wrapped the plant in a continuous envelope of a giant ski slope. This is only possible because the power plant is so clean. The smoke coming out of the chimney is completely non-toxic, only steam and CO2. So the top of the hill will feel fresh like mountain air. To completely alter people's perception of a power plant from a dirty neighbor to a public park, we designed the chimney to release its steam in puffs of smoke rings. The ultimate transformation from a symbol of a problem, pollution, to something playful that puffs rings of steam. This sounds like science fiction, but this is the world-changing potential of architecture. What started off as wildly fictional ideas, ski slopes and smoke rings, is turning into everyday reality. In Venice, they sail in gondolas through the streets, and in Copenhagen, they ski on their power plants that turn trash into electricity. A weird dream has crystallized into concrete reality. Today, people flock towards immersive worlds in the virtual realm. More than 100 million people populate Minecraft where they can build their own worlds and inhabit them through play. The real world predecessor for Minecraft, Lego, has become the greatest toy company in the world with a population of minifigs of 3.7 billion, the largest ethnic group on the planet. These fictional worlds empower people with the tools to transform their own environments. This is what architecture ought to be. If geography is the documentation of the world as it is, architecture must become world craft, the craft of making our world, where our knowledge and technology doesn't limit us, but rather enables us to turn surreal dreams into inhabitable space, to turn fiction into fact.
Mm. All right. So basically, he was explaining how literally he designed in a dream by making drawings, and then they work hard to make it real. And that's the mindset of architects. Um, and I want what I explore to do with meta comics is to do the same to draw your dreams. In this case, it's going to be about strategies, and then to work to make it real. But instead of a building, it's about your life, your life goals or dreams. And here I just want to show you how this little drawing on the left uh, is, is actually an actual building. And for example, this another little drawing about the factory that I told you, the trash company that turned the trash into electricity. Uh, it has like a, a snowboard or hill, they call it a Copen Hill on the top, a public park. So I just want to show you how this simple drawing turned into, into reality. And I just want to share my belief that is that is it's not about the drawings that we're gonna do today. That is not the, the actual goal, but it's about your story and your vision. We're gonna use the drawings as a tool. So as I, as I explained, the practical way to do this is combining coaching exercises with drawing exercises. So the left and the right side of your brain, writing, drawing, imagination, creativity, and analysis, and so on. And we're gonna have coaching questions and drawing exercises. And before starting, um, I would like to do a, a warm up exercise. Uh, this time is gonna be like a mini meditation exercise. Okay, so it's gonna take just a few minutes. So I would like to ask everyone to uh, take a deep breath and to please close your eyes. I'm gonna check here in the screen all the people, all right? Well, I can only see a few people. But okay, I believe, just close your eyes and deep breathe, breathe deeply and feel your breathing. So focus your attention on your breathing for a moment. So inhale slowly and exhale. Do it on your own rhythm. Just focus on your breathing. Inhale, exhale. Now, I would like to ask you to imagine all the dreams that you want to live this year. Those new year resolutions, just put them all in your imagination as a collage. and go one by one through all of them on your own time. It can be goals in different areas of your life, personal goals, professional goals, academic goals, financial goals social or family goals, and so on. Now, I would like to ask you to select from all of those goals, your most important goal for this year. For example, for the next three or six months, Once you select that goal, start to imagine this goal as if you already achieve it. Imagine what you're gonna feel. Imagine what you're gonna smell. Imagine what you're gonna see, touch. My all the positive emotions of living that dream. So let yourself live that dream for a moment. Okay. And at the count of three, when I count to three, we're going to open our eyes. Okay. One, two, three, now. 
can open the eyes, go back to reality. All right. So as I mentioned, today is gonna be about becoming aware of the goal that you want to achieve and also the previous accomplishment in the same area of that goal. And then reflecting about your strategies and then how to apply that strategy to your new goal. And in order to do that, now finally, we're gonna start with our first exercise. So as Hannah mentioned, now I need to, I would like to ask you to have a pen and paper, okay? And the idea is to use it like this. If you have a full page, we're gonna use the left side for the writing exercises and the right side for the drawing exercises. We're gonna have about four questions on the left. So more or less calculate the space for to use one fourth at a time. And the first question that I would like to ask you is that, what big accomplishment are you proud of in a similar area of your life regarding the most important goal that you want to achieve that day, uh, this year? So in the meditation, we selected one goal that you would like to achieve. So thinking about that goal, now make a, short, make, make a list in five minutes of a compliment in the same area of your life that you can that you can have achieved before. Okay, so we have five minutes for that. And then the next part is going to be about reflecting how exactly did you do it. And for this, we will have ten minutes. And I would like to think about the practical and strategic level. So the practical is, for example, which behavior did you follow? For example, which actions, routines, courses, everything practical that you actually did, how many hours and so on. And then the second part is the more like big picture level, the strategic level, which is about which beliefs, belief or values were you following? And, or for example, which, what was your why? What was your reason, okay? So please take, take uh, 10 minutes for that. I'm gonna put the timer again. And I'm gonna put first five minutes. So the five minutes is to make a really extensive, I'm gonna put four minutes actually, really extensive list of how exactly did you do it? Again, go as deep as you, as you can, okay? So we can start now. Now let's take the next five minutes to write the strategic level, okay? So the first five minutes was for the practical, your behaviors, action and routines. The next five minutes is to write down your belief values and your story, your own why, why, what was your reason? Okay, so now we're gonna go to the next part. The next part is gonna be another, the continuation of the um, uh, thinking part of the coaching questions. And then after that, finally, we're gonna do the, the drawings. And then again, in the end, we're gonna share, okay? So for the next part, let me take the screen. Okay, the next part is about describing your most important goal for this year for the next three to six months, for example. Uh, you already thought about that, but now the idea is to describe it. And I would like to ask you to uh, first to frame it in a positive way as if you already achieve it, okay? That is really important. And then to think in two levels. One is the intention, you know, as a dream, as a vision. And the other is a practical level where you can describe, for example, what, when, you know, and so on. The date, the day, the deadline and so on, okay? So again, we're playing in these two levels, intention and practical. Five minutes, it's finished now. I hope everyone wrote their goal. And now we go to the next part, which is how to apply a similar strategy that you use for your previous achievement in your new goal, okay? So the idea is to transfer the strategy from the previous strategy to the new goal. Okay, and again, you can think about in the practical level and the strategic level. So number of hours, routine, courses, and so on, and belief or values, okay? So now we have more time for that. We have 10 minutes of total. Uh, you can even make like an action plan already. You feel like it, okay? Like a, a B, C, three steps that you should take. 
you can put it in time frame of three months, for example, depending on the goal. I hope everyone has already their goal and their strategy written down. Okay. Yes. Yes. And now we're going to finally do the drawings. Okay. So for the drawings, uh, this is a classic warming up exercise that I do. So you have done it before, just enjoy the time. So it's about uh, drawing a heart, like a realistic heart and, um, and uh, the symbol of a heart. Okay, so because I see there are not many people with the screens on, so I'm gonna actually jump to the theory and I can show you this. So what we're gonna focus with the drawings is in the meaning over the visual representation, okay? So here we have a, a um, table where you can see three axes. So in the top is abstract and on the left is specific and on the right is the meaning. So for example, if we go to the bottom left, you have a drawing of an apple, which is realistic. Uh, if you actually want to draw it so realistic, it's better just to take a picture because it's the same. You go to the top and you make it too abstract, you don't even understand it. But if you focus on the meaning and you go to the bottom right, you can come up with this simplification, like a symbol, okay? And it's totally understandable and it's really easy to draw. So again, the idea is to focus on the meaning, is to simplify, to amplify. And here is another um, um, table where you can see kind of a summary of the comic history uh, in relation with the meaning and the reality. So in the top, again, you have abstract. On the bottom left, you have the more realistic representation. And on the bottom right, you have the cartoons, which is what I focus on in the, the simple cartoons. And again, you have more, more detailed cartoons or more simplified cartoons. So we're gonna focus on this side in just simple drawings. Again, this is another example. You have a picture on the left, like a photography, and on the right are a simplification. So here, uh, I am showing this could be everyone, you know, like a happy face, really easy to draw. This, for example, could be me if I, I use my hair as a reference. And this could be a more elaborated version of myself as a, as a cartoon. But we can focus in this part, on this part, according how you feel more comfortable with. Okay. So now that we're going to draw what we need today, it's, for example, post it. You can draw over the post-its, so then you have the colors, it's really fun. I like to do it like that. You can use the post-its to draw the frames, or if you don't have any of those, you can use just your, your library card or trade card and just draw the frames, okay? So I'm gonna ask you to take that with you. Now you need a page, pen and paper, ideally post-its, and I'm gonna ask you to draw the frames so you either draw it or just use the posits. So you have the colors. So take a, some half minutes to do that. You can also take your colors, your highlighters. I love to use highlighters because they are really easy to use and really energetic. Okay, so while you are setting things up, the drawing material, Now we're gonna meet eventually, guys, to, to show your drawings, okay? So I don't know if you could, guys, just show, turn on your screen, because this part is gonna be visual. Not the actual drawing, when you're drawing, you can turn off the camera and just draw and relax. But this I need to know at least, uh, if you guys are using uh, pen and paper and drawings and posit and so on, just to have a, an idea, and also to make it more interactive be, be, between everyone. So could you guys turn off the camera and show me what you have? If you're gonna use post-its or credit card and so on. Mm. Uh, I actually just want to add that even though we are recording, but um, we will remove all the participation from your part uh, and we will only show Louis instruction uh, of the workshop in the final video where we publish it on our on entrepreneurial entrepreneurs of Finland uh, platform. So no worries that anyone else can know about what you share today. So yeah, just 
necessarily neither. Or maybe I have to turn off the background in order to show you any. Mm. Guys, just to just to be on the same page, I just would like to know if you guys could turn on the camera. Uh, well, Alexander said that the connection is bad. Then we have Manu. Hello, Manu. Hello. Hi. Hi. We have Daniel. We have Van. And we have Muritala Yusuf. Yes, Yusuf from our team. Okay, cool. Daniel, I guess, is from the team also. So yeah, well, at least we have one. Uh, Manu, could you please show us what you're using for drawings? Are you using posits or? No, I'm using a blank paper. Mm -hmm. Okay. And for the, to draw the, the frames, can you use maybe your, like a library card? So then you can draw a square? Yeah, I, I, can, I can do that, yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, so just, yeah, sure, sure, thank you, Dan. Can you use any, any card? It's really, really handy, looks really nice. So you can easily draw three, three frames. Three frames, all right. Yeah. Okay, so for the rest of the people, hello, Van. Hey, nice, now I can see, yeah, well done. Okay, so now I see that people is actually uh, having their materials. Okay, so now I'm gonna give you the instructions. So this is really simple. We're gonna take about 15 minutes. And the idea is to draw the following instructions in each of the panel. Okay, so it's three panels. And the first panel is gonna be to draw your previous accomplishment, okay? In a similar area of the goal that you want for this year. The second is for your goal of this year. And the third panel is for your strategy. This is strategy that you apply from the first goal to the second goal, okay? On the screen, you have the description just to remind you about the intention and practical level. And I would like you to suggest or encourage you to do two things. One is simple drawings and the other is to draw a short description in each panel, inside the panel of the goal, of the accomplishment, and of the strategy. Strategy is more, more important. So then you can have, for example, maybe two descriptions, like the practical level and the strategic level. But it's important to combine the drawings, the imagination, and the writing part, which is more specific and rational. Okay. Also save some space for the for the end. In the top, you're gonna have the title and on the bottom your name and so on. Okay, so we have 15 minutes. For that, I'm gonna put my timer. I'm gonna put for seven minutes. After seven minutes, we do that checkout. Actually, now that I remember, um, this is organized in, in five minutes. So we're gonna I'm gonna put five minutes first, and we're gonna draw a sketch, just a sketch. Then you show me the sketch, we see how it goes, and then you draw more details and so on. Okay, so I put five minutes now, you can start drawing. So five minutes for three frames. Yeah, five minutes to do a sketch just a sketch of the T-frames. And then we're gonna do a next round, which is a little bit more details. And then the last round is just to the, the last, if you need more time, so you can use that, okay? Uh, sorry, can I ask a question? Sure. So we have to draw or we have to write? Now you have to draw. The oh, I'm not you... very good at drawing. <laughs> yeah, no worries about that. I can show you this drawing like this, you see in the screen. Yes. The happy face. That is enough. Okay, I try to make 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 up my mind. Something. <laughs> yeah, or for example, do you see the logo of Apple? You can, something like that. So you can use really simple symbols. Okay, but the idea is that you just do it with positive intention. And but you're gonna draw, but you're gonna also write a short description. Okay, just maybe for example, like uh, keywords for you, or a, like expression. Okay, but okay, let's stay. I put a, again five minutes. Just want to remind you to put a title on the bottom, put your name, signature, and date. Today is 24th of February of 2021. And also, you don't, if you haven't, you can use highlighters or any colors to add color, or you can also use just the black paint, you know, to, to kind of hatch and paint dark areas. Okay, but let's use this last time for the details. 
But the last part is that I would like to offer you guys for the entrepreneurs of Finland community um, a free six sessions package and a, um, and a free initial coaching session. Okay, so uh, that this is for the next 10 days. So it's until the next 6th of March of the year. And then I also have a special pricing for this community, which is for the package is 180 euros, which is about 30 euros per, per, per session. And for the coaching session individually is uh, 35 euros. Um, but always the free, the, the first one is always free. Okay, so the first initial session is always free because it's about mapping exercise and it's to know exactly how can we, can I help you actually to achieve your goal. Okay, so again, the first one is always free, but if you want the, the package, then I have one, one for package. So it's six sessions in three months. So two sessions per month. And then you have the price in there and you can send me an email. Uh, here is my email on the bottom, luishbegido, double L, dot gmail. Or you can look, find me in on LinkedIn also. And mm -hmm. of course, via, via Entrepreneurs of Finland, you can find my contact. Okay, so that is all from my side. Thank you very much for your participation. I love to be with you guys. I love to see your dreams. I am really looking forward to getting into contact with me so I can really help you to achieve your goals, either a personal or business goal. All right. Uh, thank you very much for participating today. And I hope you have a good time and best of luck achieving all your goals. Uh, and especially the most important one you uh, draw about today. And um, uh, stay in touch in our community for more exciting uh, information and event coming. Now, just briefly, um, ha, I, I'm gonna need to take just a few, a few extra minutes, okay? And I need to ask the participants, uh, how helped you was this uh, workshop? And just to write your comments on the on the chat, mm -hmm. okay? So, how did do this workshop help you? So we have the first one. Get focused on the most important goal because I have so many. So this is about clarity and prioritization. Alexandra said, it was really interesting and beneficial to me. Thank you. I like the idea of visualizing the goals and going through them step by step. Thank you very much, Alexandra. Daniel says, get my goals written down and visualize it in a fun, memorable way. Oh, thank you very much, Daniel. Yeah, this is, this is exactly the idea. The idea is to combine 50-50, write down, so it forces you to actually, you know, think about your goals and then to have fun visualizing it. And the fun part is not only fun, but it's actually, I believe that it goes to your subconscious, you know? So, and it stays there as a dream. Carol says, yes, it is really good to try and focus taking time to do this. Yes, that's another important thing. The idea is just to take a step back and offer you two hours to actually think about your goals and your plans. And Manu says, I know now how to work on my action plan for my future goal. Thank you very much, Manu. Here we have Paul uh, results. Yeah, so a little, just to share a little bit about the um, information of participant today. Um, mm -hmm. The, the poll that we asked you to fill in in the beginning. So we are quite uh, entrepreneurial uh, audience uh, based today. Almost everyone have some uh, relation with entrepreneurship. 